Hello, I'm Terry McCann, a reporter and team leader of special projects here at the Walla Walla Union Bulletin. Our current project is one we believe will engage you because it addresses issues that impact our lives, the future of our area, and most of all, our pocketbooks. For about 150 years, residents have built this community not just for themselves, but for the people who came after. There are needs that individual families cannot afford to provide themselves. Public buildings, recreational facilities, schools, roads, just to name a few. The projects often are funded by property taxpayers after voters approve bond measures. But judging from the failure of certain local projects to garner enough support from voters over the past 20 years, we can't or don't want to pay for everything that some people say we need. And we haven't had all the suggestions, requests, and options in front of us at one time. The city of Walla Walla has several projects in mind that you may be asked to fund in the next couple of decades. And there was last year's proposal by the Walla Walla School District asking voters to approve a comprehensive list of improvements. Although it failed, it did demonstrate the long list of needs facing our community as we strive to educate our kids. We usually hear about these projects in a piecemeal fashion, when elected officials of a specific district call the bond election for one year and another district the next. And we still don't know what's likely to come next from some other district. Therefore, we can't plan in the same manner as we do when we budget household expenses. We don't know if we should save for something unforeseen. So we at the UB thought it would be helpful to lay everything out on the table. After all, since bonds aren't usually paid off for 10, 15, or 20 years, we're paying for several projects at once. For instance, now, property owners in the city of Walla Walla are paying their fair shares for the Juvenile Justice Center, the fire station in Eastgate, the Garrison, Sharpstein, and Green Park School projects, and soon, construction of Edison School will be added to the rolls. So what else is needed in the next 20 years? What's on the minds of government officials, business leaders, and those who work in social services? We asked them, and in a series of articles, we're telling you what they said. Now please, you tell us. What do you want? What can you afford? What are your priorities? After reviewing stories in the September 6th, 7th, and 9th editions of our paper, please take time to fill out the ballot included in print editions and online. Just indicate up to five improvement projects you would be willing to pay for, or add your own, to total up to five. Also, please write letters to the editor or comment in the feedback section on our website. We'll keep you updated with video clips of comments from your neighbors. It should be very useful for our government leaders to hear from you. It's your money, it's your future, and you can shape it by giving direction to the people who serve you. What improvement should they pursue? What might they need to know should be dropped? This, we, we believe, will be a valuable opportunity for everyone to find out, so please help us do that. Ballots must be received at the UB or online by October 1st. Afterward, we'll tell you what you said. Remember, there is no election pending, but this poll may help decide what the next one will be. So please participate. Thank you.